If you've lived in the Memphis area for a while, you know that winter weather can be really hard to forecast. It's tough around here, and it's even harder to make a forecast several months in advance. But there are some tools and some clues that meteorologists can use to get some kind of an idea of what this winter might have in store for us here in the Memphis area. And believe it or not, to get the biggest clue, we have to go thousands and thousands of miles away. We use the water temperature in the Pacific Ocean way down at the equator to get an idea of what this season might be like. Now, right now, the water temperature along the equator off the coast of South America, it's very warm, warmer than usual. When this happens, we call this El Nino. We are going into a strong El Nino winter. You've probably heard that before. Now, when the water is cooler down here, we call that La Nina. But this year, it's looking like an El Nino winter. Now, believe it or not, that water temperature way down there, it does have an impact on our weather here in the United States. When we're in an El Nino winter and the waters down there get warm, it tends to drive the jet stream down into the south. Those storms go south of Memphis. What that allows for is some quick blasts of colder air and usually it ends up in us having a wetter than usual winter. In fact, the official NOAA winter outlook does have us in a wetter pattern December, January, and February, and a lot of that warmer weather is expected to stay off to our north. So in general, with this El Nino weather pattern, here's what you might expect this winter in Memphis. I'm looking for several quick cold snaps. We're not going to have periods of weeks and weeks on end of cold weather. We're going to have a couple of days where we get really cold and then we see some warmer weather come back and then some cold weather comes back again. We're also going to see a wetter than normal winter. We're going to see several rounds of rain, maybe some storm systems come through. But of course, the big question is, can those two line up? If those two things can come at the same time, uh, some wet weather and one of those quick cold snaps, we could be in for some snow this winter. In fact, typically an El Nino winter is our better chance to see some snow. But again, it all depends on if those short cold snaps can line up with a storm system. The good news is several cold snaps mean we should have pretty decent opportunities to see at least a little snow as we go through this winter. Of course, ABC 24, we're going to be on top of it all. Whatever comes your way this winter, we'll be sure to keep you updated.